I'm Mark Donovan. Fly along with me and check out our wonderful planet from above. Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery. Um, I fly a Phantom 4 Pro drone uh, professionally on a regular basis and sometimes I'm asked to fly it indoors. And I, over the years, have learned these four basic 10 steps that I do or take uh, to make sure I can fly the drone safely indoors. So I'm going to start with the uh, number one item. I always wear eye safety when flying indoors. The most critical thing is when you're flying this drone close to you, you do not want to be near the blades when they're hovering at uh, head height. So make sure you wear eye safety glasses when flying a drone indoors. Number two, use prop guards. To be honest, I use them sometimes, but not all the times. But I highly recommend, particularly for beginning uh, drone um, flyers, to use the prop guards. They will protect the uh, drone um, much better than having no protection whatsoever. Um, so I recommend using them. You're going to see some footage here of me flying the drone uh, inside where I'm not using them. And I do that because, number one, it can take a significant amount of time to remove these prop guards from the drone. And number two, I have a lot of experience flying the drone indoors and never had an issue. Um, but I highly recommend for most people to use the prop guards. Number three, make sure there's no people or pets anywhere in the vicinity where you're flying the drone indoors. Number four, fly the drone in P mode versus A mode. P mode is your GPS mode. A mode is your attitude mode. Um, some people may disagree, but my view on this is that most of the time you're going to have enough GPS uh, satellites available to have the drone fly in uh, the GPS mode. It's a lot more stable to fly in a GPS mode than in attitude mode. In attitude mode, any wind is going to cause the, control, the drone to drift, and you'll find yourself, um, particularly on a one-man type uh, drone uh, mission, having it very difficult to try to film while at the same time constantly be adjusting for the drone as it drifts one way or the other. And in a small room, the own, its own wind currents from the props can cause that drone to shift one way or the other. And it's very difficult to continue to get the footage and filming that you want while that drone is drifting. So my recommendation, put it in GPS mode. Number five, turn the obstacle sensing features off. And Basically why I'm doing this is when you're flying in a tight indoor area, um, the drone is going to wind up stopping uh, much further away from objects or paths that you're trying to fly. So the bottom line is you have to be much more diligent uh, when flying the drone indoors. Um, so that's why I recommend taking off the obstacle avoidance uh, feature when indoors. Matter of fact, when the prop guards are on, that feature automatically gets disabled. Number six. Turn the remote control signal loss setting from return to home to hover. Click here, scroll down, go to advanced settings, and then where it says remote control signal loss, instead of return to home, put hover. And we do this so that if the GPS signal does get lost while you're indoors, the drone is just going to hover where it's at versus try to uh, return to home and shoot through the ceiling in the building that you're in. Number seven, go to the battery setting and then where it says smart return to home, turn that off. Again, so if the battery gets critically low, the aircraft's going to hover or drone's going to hover where it's at versus trying to uh, snap to return to home and again going through the ceiling. Number eight, select for the special flight modes tripod mode. Um, you can only enable this once you've launched the drone. So get the drone off the ground a foot or so, and then once you've done that, um, go into the special flight modes and select the tripod mode and enable that. The reason I do that is so that um, I have much more uh, control over the directions and, and of the sticks. The reason I do that is so that uh, I don't have the same level of sensitivity in the sticks that I would have in the normal mode. Uh, with the reduced sensitivity, um, I can have a lot of movement in the uh, sticks and not have to worry about accidentally uh, shooting the drone up through the ceiling or going forward or backwards or sideways too fast and too much. So I like to fly it in tripod mode. Alternatively, you can fly it in course lock mode, which is right here. 
Uh, this basically allows the drum to go in one direction um, no matter how you're rotating the, the, the camera and the drone itself. And again, this helps prevent inadvertent uh, flight into some object in the room. Um, but I again find for the most part the tripod mode works the best. Number nine, when flying the drone indoors, make sure you constantly switch between looking at the controller screen and looking at the drone itself. It's very important when you have the obstacles um, uh, detection uh, sensors turned off um, that you're going to have to be the eyes uh, to keep track of whether or not that drone is getting too close to an object that you may hit. Um, so make sure that you constantly keep your eyes going back and forth between looking at the controller screen and the drone as you fly it. And my last recommendation is never fly the drone too close to the ceiling. I typically like to stay about uh, two to three feet from the ceiling um, to ensure that the drone itself doesn't suck itself up and slam into the ceiling. The uh, reason this could happen is there's a low pressure above the props. That's what's giving you your, your lift or thrust upwards. So um, in order to um, prevent the drone from sucking itself into the ceiling, you've got to make sure you're far enough away from it uh, that there's no strong enough of a, a low pressure right above the drone um, to cause it to, to ascend and slam into the ceiling. So hopefully you found these 10 tips for flying a drone indoors helpful. If so, make sure you click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I come out with new videos.